Vale. ¿Sí? Vale. Número dos. Pepe pela patatas para la tortilla. Uh, Pepe pele patatas para la tortilla. Pepe prepara las patatas para la tortilla. Preparar las patatas para la tortilla. Por favor, Pepe. Preparar las patas para. para. Uh, Pepe, no. <risa> <risa> Se te olvida. Hola. Hola. Aquí estamos con Brooke. Brooke's here on um, our June course and it's now Thursday, Brooke. Yeah? Yes, yeah? it is. Fourth day in. Tell us a little bit about how you felt when you arrived on Sunday and on Monday and how you feel today in terms of your Spanish. Well, I actually arrived in Madrid last Friday, so I spent a couple of days um, in the city and that was probably the most nervous part for me because I was I felt kind of like a shut-in. I didn't want to leave the hotel room. I didn't want to have to talk to too many people. Um, in fact, I ate at Burger King and Five Guys the first couple of meals because I didn't want. I, I was comfortable with that menu and I knew mm -hmm. what I should order. Mm -hmm. um, but you know, once I arrived here and started the course Monday, I was just really excited. Um, I was prepared to be kind of overwhelmed, but for me, it was just all excitement. So I was happy for that. But as the week has gone on, what has impressed me most for me personally is the amount that I've been able to talk with people and the amount that I've been able to understand and I, I'm much more calm when I'm listening to someone. I don't worry as much about the words here and there that I don't get. I get mm -hmm. the idea. Um, mm -hmm. So that's been huge for me because that's why I came on the course was because I was at that point where I needed to get out. I needed to talk. I needed to listen. Sure. And that's been huge. Sure. And how have you found talking with the, the, the natives in the, during the evening meal? Has that helped? That has been a tremendous help. That's been one of my favorite parts. Um, you know, and you'll know as you learn Spanish, I'm sure, when people tell you, hey, you, you know, you're doing really well, if they're not a native speaker, you're like, well, thank you, but I mean, you know. But a couple of the native speakers were like, oh, you're, you're doing really well with your Spanish, and that just meant the world to me. But having them there was is one of the best parts of this course, absolutely. Excellent, excellent. Yeah, lots of people say that. And, and I must say that we have a little WhatsApp group for the native speakers that come down and speak to everyone, and they mentioned a couple of times, yeah, Brooke, we were talking with Brooke, she's got a great level, so well done. <laughs> Thanks. Okay, well, thank you very much, Brooke, and then we've still got two days left. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Thank okay, you. hasta luego. Hasta luego. Oh no! A ver, a ver, se ha puesto de culpa y ve a pasar. Necesito. No, necesitas. Necesitas. Necesitas un hambre fuerte. Sí. Un hambre. Hombre, hombre. No, hambre, hambre. Hombre. Hombre. Sí, sí, sí. Un hombre fuerte. Fuerte. Fuerte, fuerte. Fuerte. Con. 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 Con, con, Hola, aquí estamos con Brett. Brett, Brett is here for the third time, third course. Yeah. So something must be going yeah. going okay for you, Brett. Brett, can you tell us? Um, this is your third time, but even so, I'm sure when you came, you were still that little bit you know, anxious or nervous on, on the Sunday. How, how has the week sort of gone for you? I think when everyone comes on such courses on their own and they're meeting new people for the first time, everyone is nervous, they're tense, they're possibly uptight. Um, and I, I'm less so this time because it's my third time, mm -hmm. but I can see in other people how much they relax from the from the Sunday night when everyone is meeting each other for the first time and then as the week goes on and we get to know each other, it's absolutely unbelievable how people relax and just just start to speak Spanish almost automatically, mm -hmm. which is fantastic. Mm -hmm. yeah. You're in the advanced group and, and are you noticing that people are able to talk amongst themselves in Spanish? Yes, I mean, I, I have to, this is my third time and, and this course is unbelievable how much we are speaking together in Spanish uh, during the week, in the evenings. Mm -hmm. um, it's fantastic. Mm -hmm. Great experience. And have you been able to speak to the, the natives on the night time? Absolutely. I've spoken to Jorge 
at length about many subjects. <laughs> Politics, no, one more. Politics, yeah. yeah. Yeah, very good. Excellent, excellent. And, and how do you find your, your, your Spanish? Do you, have, you, have you noticed that you're sort of getting into the rhythm as you, as you go through the week? Yeah, for, for me this is, um, I, I don't tend to do much Spanish through the year, um, a little bit before I come, and this is my intensive week. Ah, uh, so mm -hmm. I, by the end of the week, um, I can go and have a conversation with anyone. Super, quite okay. happily. Okay, well, thank you for, for coming the, for the third time. Yeah, Absolutely. Excellent. Muchísimas gracias. I Hasta luego. Yeah. Ah, there you are. Vale. Okay. Hasta luego. Hasta luego. Venga. John Miles. John! El tiempo en Torrejón con las profesores y con uh, uh, mis amigos. Um, es muy, muy uh, interesante y muy uh, buena, sí, y uh, me uh, recomend, 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 recomiendo el curso uh, por uh, los uh, estudiantes uh, quien aprende uh, español en España uh, con uh, las personas muy agradables. Sí. Oh. Sí. Sí. Roberto. Sí. Sí. Estamos con Jill. Jill, um, this is your first time on the course, yes? Yes, it is, yes. And I see she's speaking in Spanish. You can't <laughs> stop speaking in Spanish. It's, it's now. Um, oh, today's Thursday, so um, you came on Sunday. When you look at how you felt on Sunday and then how you feel now as you're listening, sitting, listening, learning Spanish, what, what's changed for you? Uh, I've relaxed. Um, even started to think in Spanish Whoa. <laughs> uh, and I'm thoroughly enjoying the course. I wish I'd done it years ago. Right. Um, yeah, it's really good. What's, what, for you, what, what is, I mean, we've got, we've got classes, we've got activities, we've got the nighttime conversations with the natives. Where, where are you finding the, the most sort of learning coming from? Um, the intensive classes, really, every day. Um, I've only been used to doing a couple of hours a week, mm -hmm. and sometimes not even that. Um, and it's really helped to do it every day mm -hmm. and uh, do something every day, mm -hmm. do, you know, reading and writing and, and listening. Mm -hmm. and listening mainly. And we'll be doing the subjunctive today, haven't we? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> the excitement. Okay, well, thank you very much, Jill, for that. Okay. I appreciate it. Enjoy the rest of yeah. your play. Yeah. Brooke! 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 Brooke!
esperamos veros en otro curso, en el futuro. Y, y muchísimas gracias por, por venir, por pasar la semana con nosotros. Y, y a veces yo pienso, la gente que, que viene de los Estados Unidos, de, de Canadá, a pasar tiempo con nosotros, un viaje enorme. Entonces, es, eh, eh, muchísimas gracias. Y claro, a, a todos, ¿no? los de Inglaterra también, porque es un viaje enorme, sí. para mí. Sí. Es sí. Escocia, también. Aún más, aún más. Sí. Pero sí, ha, ha sido eh, una semana muy divertida con vosotros y sois estudiantes muy, muy serios, ¿eh? Y, y me ha gustado eso. Muchas gracias. Muy bien, muy bien. Bueno, Ana, ¿quieres decir algo? Pues, ¿qué os voy a decir? Estuve con vosotros el lunes, fue un lunes intenso y muy, muy divertido. Y hoy viernes, igualmente, lo he pasado fenomenal con vosotros, sois un gran grupo y he visto una buena diferencia entre el lunes ver, y el viernes. ver la, la diferencia, por Ana. supuesto, por sí. supuesto, por supuesto que sí. Así que, chicos, habéis hecho un trabajo magnífico esta semana. Os aplaudo. Muy bien.